In this video, I will introduce you to the CDS Toolbox. To get to the Toolbox, you press Toolbox in the menu bar. You have to log in with your CDS account. Which will bring you to the Toolbox. On the left, you will see your workspace and some examples. If this is your first time, your workspace will be empty. In the middle, there is a pane where we find the Python script. And the right part will show the results of the application. To guide you through this environment, we will work with an example. We will work with example number three. If you open this, a pop-up window will appear. You press load to get it into your Python environment and copy it to your own workspace to be able to edit the script. It will appear on the left in your workspace. If you run this script, here you will see the plot appearing after a while. I will now take you through the script step by step. In the first line, you will import the CDS toolbox. Here you import all the funct functionalities of the toolbox and name it CT. In the second line, you write the name of the application, which will appear here as well. Then there are uh, three inputs, a drop-down menu and um, two text boxes where you can put the longitude and latitude of the location you want to plot a time series for. These appear over here in the application. Then you have to uh, write a line which is the output of the application. In this case it's a live figure which means a figure in which you can use zoom functions. Then we write our function. The input variables are variable from the drop-down menu, the longitude and the latitude. The next part is where you retrieve the data from the uh, catalog. Here we see that we are working with the ERA5 reanalysis data. We use the variable from the drop-down drop menu and we retrieve the data for 2008 to 2017, all the months, all the days, and four times per day. Then there is a line where we select the data for the longitude and the latitude. So in the data retrieval part, you retrieve the data for the whole world. And here we limit ourselves to the longitude and latitude point uh, that we have defined. Then uh, as the next step, a daily mean is calculated from the selected data. So in this case, the mean daily temperatures are calculated. The next line you uh, make the graph and in the last line uh, return fig it actually plots uh, the graph. So that is basically the Python script. Now if we look at the output we see an interactive graph. Like I said this means that we can zoom in. You can use the zoom buttons but you can also zoom on a specific temperature, like this, for example. And then to get back to the normal zoom, you can press auto scale. If you change the variable in the drop down menu or the location in the longitude or la latitude, the whole uh, function will, be, will run again. So, for example, if I change this to minus 4 and 37 for our farm in Andalusia you can see that the script is running. So you can change the longitude and the latitude here but you can also change the default longitude and latitude here in the script. If the script is not working for you it can be that you have not 
accepted the terms of use. For this, you can go to the data sets. Because we are working with the reanalysis data, the ERA-5 reanalysis data, you can check if you have uh, accepted the terms of use at download data at the bottom, the terms of use, and this has to be uh, accepted. 